Today I'm going to work in my 2017 composite art journal. The page that I am going to work on today is inspired by, of course, Gina Ahrens. Yes, Gina Ahrens. There's a link to the video that is inspiring me. She is hosting this week in May for the My Year 2017 Facebook group. And the prompt is Spring Tip It In. And her video is all about using nature elements. And she used pressed flowers. And she also used sheet music. I have a piece of sheet music that I really like. And it's called A Beautiful Lady in Blue. I also have some tissue paper that came in the altered paintbrush trade that Lisa Swank sent me. Also for the My Year 2017 group. So what am I going to do? Well, I have something else to show you. Remember this? I just put up the video yesterday of this iris that I did an ink tint sketch of. Here is a portion of that iris that I dried in the microwave. Now, this was my first experience of doing this. But I'm really happy with how this came out because I, I think this side is probably prettier and it flipped over a little here. Maybe like this would be a nice way to display it. I also want to credit Lindsay, the frugal crafter, for her video that she put up on how to dry flowers in the microwave. I've never done this before and... I had this iris, and these irises, once you cut them, they last for a day, then they start shriveling up. It's so sad, because they're such beautiful flowers. But this one was still good, and I knew that if I didn't do something with it, that it would not be good anymore. So I decided to try that. I will put a link to Lindsay's video in the description box below. So here is my iris. Then I thought... I tried that and I thought, well, I wonder. Now it's still pretty it's still pretty early in the spring. We don't have a lot of flowers yet, but we do have some. Look, here's a dandelion. That came out really nice. And I was amazed. Look at this one. I really need a tweezers here. Gina is right. These dried flowers are very, very delicate. Let me just I, I cut my fingernail so I can't get a hold of it. Let me just kind of shove it over here. This is the dandelion with the white the white seedlings. Isn't that interesting? Can I get that up closer? Isn't that cool? And I thought if I could put this one on it like that. Now, I, I'm not sure you're getting the color, but that dandelion still has some yellow to it. Isn't that cool? Then... I have a couple of petunia plants. They dried really nice. The petunia. And oh, look at, here's some more dandelion over here. Just let me bring it over here. The, this is a dandelion. These two are petunia. I'm going to have to get my tweezers out. These, I believe, are some flock flowers that we have growing on the corner of our block. We live on the corner. So, and these, these are some white ones. I'm not sure I can work them in, but I'm going to see if I can't get my tweezers and do that. These are kind of very, very delicate. I might try these again because they're kind of bunched in a group. But I am, however, I am going to use these flowers, the iris. The iris will be the showstopper. The music sheet. The tissue paper that I got from Lisa and I am going to do a May challenge page yay so now you know what I'm going to do I'm gonna go into fast forward and work on it and when I'm finished I will come back and chat about it
my page is finished. I'm really happy with this. Now, this lady is not my art. I did not draw her. I did not sketch her. I did not paint her. This came from a collage from a piece of sheet music. The flowers. Oh, do I love these flowers. I can't touch them too much because the medium on there is still wet. But these are flowers out of our yard. And this is that iris. This is that iris that I did the sketch of yesterday. Now, I did notice that this petal turned from a yellow to a greenish color. I find that very interesting. These are the petunias, and I put them just to help define the iris shape. These are the dandelions. Came out really nice. This is a petunia, the little flocks. Petunia, dandelions. These are the flocks. And then I used that tissue paper that Lisa Swank sent. And I love the light lavender because it just pulls this page together. I did not have to put a background paint on this page. And then I did a border with my big fat black marker. Just frames off the page, sets it off. I really do like it. Very fun. It'll be interesting to see how these shapes hold up. Um, these flowers. They might I think the flat ones will be okay. This one, I'm wondering if it might go through some rough and tumble <laughs> over the years. But that's okay. That's just a part of being a part of the art journal. I'm very happy with it. I think this will make a really nice page in my 2017 composite art journal. I will see you on the next page.